Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and in this video we're going to look at the face paint feature that is brand new in Procreate 5X. And I did film a video right when the app came out, so yesterday for me, and uh, just kind of looking at the main features. And I specifically said that I was not going to cover face paint because I thought it was creepy. And I still think it's creepy, but I also cannot stop thinking about it and all the possibilities that come with it. So I guess I'm doing a video about it now. <laughs> and I've played with the function quite a lot today, and I noticed one thing that I thought could be optimized a little bit better. Um, and you'll see in the video later, but basically when you start mapping out your face, they show you these little cross on your eyes, your nose, and your lip, just to help you see where everything is going to go. But I thought it could be done better. So I've created a face template that should really help you map out everything when you're using face paint. It is totally free. I will link it in the description below. And trust me, it's way more helpful than just the little crosses that Procreate included. So anyway, let's jump in. The way to access the face paint feature is through the reference panel, which is hidden in this menu here. So the wrench icon under canvas, you see reference here and you can just turn it on. And it's going to open up the reference panel where you can see your canvas, you can import an image, and you can click on face, which is going to allow you to do the face paint. I'm not gonna do it right now because if I do, all you're gonna see is my phone because of my filming setup, but I will definitely test a few things out later in the video and I'll either add my face here with editing magic or full screen, we'll see. For now, I'm just gonna close that window. When you open up face paint, it's gonna put a few marks on your canvas, just like these. And they're meant to help you see uh, what the app maps as the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. But I don't know about you, when I saw that, I was just creeped out more than inspired. And I honestly, I don't feel like it's really easy to f create a full-on design with just these four marks here. So what I went on and did today with a, lot of <laughs> with a lot of trial and error is I created this template here, which looks absolutely crazy <laughs> but believe me it maps out really well in the face i might actually put mine here just so you can see and it's just as a better guide than um like the little crosses here it's just it's just more helpful to me at least and hopefully to you as well so this template like i said is totally free and i will link in the description below so you can download it and you can totally adjust it to your face as well what I did to create it was kind of draw the general features, hide a new background, which I'm not going to do now, otherwise you won't really be able to see, but hiding the background activated the camera, and I used the selection tool here to select the features, and then I would use the arrow tool here set to freeform, and I would, for example, extend the nose to make it fit uh, to my nose, or you could lift it up, put it down, same thing with the mouth, the eyes, and the eyebrows. So you can totally take this template and customize it to your own face, being very, very precise, which is going to be super helpful. One thing you have to know about face paint is that the background shows. So if I go just like this, you're going to see that my face is going to be covered in white, which can be good, but the edges are a bit hard in my opinion. So what I've done with this template is I've created some sort of a basic shape that I applied as a layer mask and allows you to draw and have the edges be a bit softer. So I'm just going to give you an example. If I fill in this paint here layer in white, you see that there's some sort of a fade out here. And when you apply it to a face, you can see that it also softens the edges. So that's a really cool way of having something that blends in your face a little bit better. Another really cool trick to use is the symmetry tool. Let's say I create a new layer here and let's pretend I want to turn myself into a panda because that's really easy. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick a nice soft brush here. Great. And I'm going to set up the symmetry so that everything I draw on one side is going to be recreated automatically on the other side. And the way to do that, again, is going to be in the wrench icon here. And you're going to select Drawing Assist and edit drawing assist and you're going to make sure that you are in symmetry and then you're going to click done and that sets up the entire document you need to activate it layer by layer so in this case since this was the layer that was selected when i went and set up the document this one was um, it already applied the symmetry to this layer but if you see if i create a new one it's not there and the way to activate it is really easy you just click on it and you go and select Drawing Assist and then you're going to see the assisted label that's going to pop up. But anyway, 
So if I go, go back to my layer, go back to my block and draw some beautiful panda eyes, you can see that it draws on both sides, which is really helpful. So if I hide my template now, you can see that I am now a beautiful panda, but I have some edges here on the side of my face. So let's say I want it to feather as well. All you have to do is go and tap on this layer mask here, click select, open up your layer again, and on the layer that you want to feather, just click on it twice and select mask, and you're gonna see it's going to create the same mask, so your other color is going to feather around the edges as well. So you can create a bunch of layers and just add the mask. Another thing that is really cool about the face paint feature is that it works with the animation feature as well. And I am by no means an animator, I'm an illustrator, but I don't make stuff move. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you an example real quick by just changing the colors of uh, my panda <laughs> for some reason. So I'm just going to duplicate the eyes here and I'm going to change the color of my black to blue for some reason. I'm just going to recolor that. And you can go in animation assets here, turn it on. And you're going to see without going without doing a full-on tutorial here, you're going to see your layers appear. And this one is the background, so I want to make sure that it's here on every frame. So I'm just going to tap on it and click on background. And then these two are going to be what actually animates. And I'm going to open up the settings, setting to loop, doesn't matter since I only have two layers, and then frame per second. Um, I guess one is fine. And then I'm going to click on play and see what happens. Wow, <laughs> that's beautiful. But you can see that it works on the face as well, which is awesome. So you can have really cool intricate animations, more than just some color flashing, and that would totally work. Now let's say that you're really happy with the artwork and you want to actually export a picture or a video of your face paint. All you have to do is in the reference panel here, click on option. And it's going to give you either the option to take a photo or record a video. Um, this one is to hide or show the camera and this one is to go full screen. But basically if you want to export the result, you can take a photo or record a video and you're going to have a three second timer so you can kind of get ready. So yeah, this is how the brand new face paint feature works in Procreate 5X. Don't forget to download the free template. Again, I will link in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.